We know that the Molten has almost supernatural-like powers when smoothing out bumps on the paved road. But how's it going to do when we ride through Forest Park on the bumpy gravel road? Find out after the bumper. Hey there, Pathless Peddlers. Today we are going to do something completely different. We're going to play a little game called Will It Gravel? And we're going to take the Molten SST that we've been riding for a couple weeks uh, on the gravel ride and see how it does. So if you've seen our other videos and you know that the Molten is a full suspension uh, road bike with 20 inch wheels. And it does an awesome job on paved roads. We're really going to push its limits today by riding it in Forest Park. Uh, full disclosure, I have no idea how this is going to go. I kind of have a theory that it'll work out okay, but you never really know until you actually put uh, the bike to the test. So let's uh, hop on the bike and take it through Forest Park. All right, here we are once again in uh, Forest Park in Portland, Oregon. If you watched our previous video, especially our review on the Roland Ulf, this will be familiar territory. Just to give you a sense of the road surface, it's uh, fairly bumpy and it's also usually the first proving grounds when people buy an adventure bike. The setup I'm going to be riding, this is a Molson SST and the tires are Schwabi uh, Duranos which are about 28 millimeter equivalent. Uh, this kind of riding probably isn't what uh, Alex Molson had in mind for this bike but I'm always curious and wanted to see how it would perform. So in terms of going over this kind of uh, not too rocky terrain but definitely bumpy it actually does an amazing job it feels way better than i thought it would the active suspension on the frame is just doing a phenomenal job smoothing out the the ride now, even though these are small 28 millimeter tires i mean it rides kind of like i don't know 35 40 millimeter tire the the leading link suspension in the front and the elastometer in the back just do such an amazing job. I mean, you do get the vibration and feel the bumps. You know, I don't want to mislead anyone, but it is way, way smoother than, than you would think just looking at the bike. So I think if there is any downside, since it is fairly high pressure and uh, relatively narrow, it would not be awesome for kind of loose surfaces. So a couple of mid-ride uh, impressions here is that you do still have to pick your way through the, the rocks and stuff. Since it is uh, pumped up fairly high, so you can't just roll over everything. But the suspension does uh, a remarkable job at dampening uh, the bump. We'll turn here. So far, definitely way more fun than I thought this would be. I thought this was kind of going to be a fool's errand to try this, but uh, remarkably fun ride. So, would I recommend this bike as a gravel adventure bike? Uh, probably not. It's definitely more tuned for uh, pavement riding, but if you do, do if you do take the occasional dirt road, as long as it's not too tore up, then you'll do okay. I mean, no one's gonna win the dirty Kansas on this bike, but uh, I think you can push its uh, limits a little bit further than you would think. Right, so I've successfully gotten Molten uh, dirty on our ride here through Forest Park. Uh, so what do I think? I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Uh, I didn't think it would do this well in, uh, in all honesty. I thought that the high pressure tires would really take away from the ride feel, but I'm completely blown away at how well uh, the front suspension and the rear suspension work together to smooth it out, even though you are running a smaller wheel and 28 millimeter tires. Uh, comparing it to other bikes, uh, it definitely rides smoother than a 700C bike with 28 uh, millimeter tires. So if you're going on tire width alone, this is way more comfortable. Uh, I put the ride feel in terms of suspension closer to actually like a 36, 38, maybe even a 40 millimeter tire. It's just weird how you kind of just float over those bumps. I think if there's any limiting factor uh, to actually using this seriously on a longer gravel ride or gravel event, it would be uh, tire selection. There really aren't any kind of wide, high performance uh, tires uh, in this size that have a supple sidewall and good traction that don't weigh a ton. What's kind of funny is if you look at the current uh, landscape of adventure bikes, gravel bikes, uh, many manufacturers are, are um, 
are integrating suspension now. If you look at the, the new Specialized Roubaix, uh, that weird bike by Cannondale, um, the loaf, the loaf, loaf fork. Um, in some ways, you know, it kind of mimics uh, this leading link suspension that's been on the Molten for for a long time. Also, uh, the ISO decoupler. I think it's it's on the Trek bikes. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty similar. I think theoretically to the elastometer in the Molten. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Will It Gravel. I'm always really into taking unlikely bikes on on strange trips. Um, it's really hard to describe, you know, it, it definitely performed a lot better than I thought it would. So if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more uh, bike nerdy content like this, uh, subscribe and thanks for watching.